Hello, Jess Too Good here with the LEGO Toy Story 4 Carnival Thrill Coaster set with 98 pieces and two minifigures. This retails for $20 where I thought it was going to be a Walmart exclusive, but somebody found it at Target and I got mine from eBay specifically. So let's take a look at those minifigures. So here is Buzz Lightyear and this set has no exclusive figures whatsoever. No exclusive prints, no exclusive characters. That's kind of lame. At least put a new face for Buzz, but I don't even know if I would be happy with it because that printing face quality sucks. I made this point in another video and somebody took it, put it on Reddit. It got thousands of upvotes. So I didn't know you guys were that curious and interested in the decrease in printing quality. But this is the one from 2016's Disney CMF line. This is the one from the 2010 sets. And you can see their face quality on the flesh is just so much better than what's presented in this set, which is released so many years after those. I don't know why this is going on. I'm gonna get to the bottom of it, so stay tuned. Of course, with the four helmet slash body pieces removed, the design underneath is fine. Um, it actually has more printing than the Disney CMF version because the Disney CMF version has no torso print on the upper section. But if you compare it to the side, you can see the Disney CMF has so much better side arm and leg printing. But that's just how it is. Also, there's some back torso printing as well. As for the little green man or Pizza Planet alien, the design for this has a new face print for 2019. Also, a slightly new torso print. It's nothing really noticeably different from the older versions. But if you want to take a look at the older versions, this is the one from the Disney CMF series, which has the printed legs that I love. And this is the one from the 2010 sets, which has a slightly different torso again, but it's not a big deal. Heck, it looks like the one from the 2010 sets has a better torso design for the Pizza Planet logo. Or it might just be the quality in this one particular version I have. Moving on to the build of the set, there's this little entry right, right here, and then the actual coaster at the back, as well as a side build for a pizza cart. To get a better look at the queue line, you could easily disconnect the roller coaster. At the front, there's a nice turnstile using some 1x2 translucent plates. Then there's these 1x2x5 bricks right here with some exclusive printed parts to it. And then we have a 2x4 exclusive print for the little caterpillar coaster sign. Now, it kind of sucks that they use the exclusive prints for some bricks and not for minifigures, but whatever. I'll move on from that. On the inside, this is where that roller coaster connects, but there is a security camera, which is put on so loosely. Like, they use this piece, and this piece and this modified 1x2 with the hook just do not work together well, because it's very loose when you attach it via that way. Even if you put it upside down, it's still pretty loose, and I don't like that. I wish it was a little bit more solidified in its attachment. Other than that though, they do have little stepping parts so you could enter the coaster, but really not much detail aside from that. For the coaster design, it's super simple. I mean, it's just an oval and you have four corner track pieces and two straights, which it is nice to get them in a $20 set for sure. I think the straight ones are more rare than the curved ones. I think the straight ones only came in the Joker Manor and then the curved ones came in the, the Unikitty one as well in purple. But still, it's a very simple design, and I guess if you want to buy multiples of this, this would be a good way to build up those parts. The build for the actual car itself, the chassis, is very simple. You have a printed part up here, which is exclusive to the set. They use a lime chassis in here, which does appear in a few sets. It appears in that Unikitty one, it appears in the Joker one, and it appears in the Lego Friends one. And then you have two extra cars right here if you want to fit extra characters. And the alien dude just kind of stands up since he can't sit down with his short legs, but Buzz can be fit on there pretty well. I was kind of worried that maybe his wings would get in the way or whatnot. And connected to the platform, this is just a straight. There's no dips or anything like that, so you can push it along yourself. But I don't really see the thrill in the name of this set, because it is called the Thrill Coaster, but there's no dips or, or, or drops or inverted parts or anything. So, yeah, it's not really fitting of its name. Finally, there's a little pizza cart. Wouldn't it be cool if this little brick had pizza plant on it or something like that? But nope, they just have this printed pizza, which we have seen before. Still a nice newer print to get. A popsicle with a translucent lime green design. And then a balloon up top, which does use the newer balloon bottom piece. But this part isn't the newer balloon piece from series 18. And you have a handle at the end if you want to wheel it around. But that's it for the bills of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. The box size for this is the thin $20 box size, which means that this line has three different box sizes for the $20 box per se, which is kind of just a neat fact that is totally useless. As for the instructions, no interesting advertisements or anything inside, which kind of sucks. I want to see some Toy Story 4 Lego splash artwork. 
So overall, I might be a little bit harsher on this set because I have a personal vendetta that the fact it doesn't include any exclusive character in it. Like, there's so many characters missing from the main line of Toy Story 4 sets. There's no Ham again, no Bullseye, and those appeared in the original sets, and it's just like, why are they missing here? They could have even done a new character in the set, but nope. We just get Buzz, who appears in two other far superior sets, as well as the little green man, who appears in one other superior set with more content to it for the price. This one, I could see adults liking this for being a cheap way to get the coaster track pieces, which aren't so, uh, you know, easy to get. I could see kids playing with this for a little bit, and even for a junior set, this is quite boring. They need to add something more thrilling, which is so funny because it's called the Carnival Thrill Coaster, but there's no drops or anything. So kids are going to push this around for a bit and then get bored of it. At least if it has a drops, I think kids will be more excited about that, even as a junior set. So yeah, I'd rate this one a C, and even that's being generous. There should have been an exclusive character. There should have been a more interesting coaster to this. I don't mind if they raise it to 25 or 30. Just make something more interesting than what was presented in this set. All right, so major changes to the Toy Story 4 shelf. What I'm going to do is have the three carnival-esque sets on one shelf. And then once I get the RC one, we'll put that, the RV, and also the playground set on another shelf since they're less carnival themed. So this is taking the corner of where the RV was at. Either way, that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.